In full view of television cameras, Germany's police raided this mosque in Hamburg. The German government has decided to shut down one of the country's largest and oldest mosques, the Blue Mosque in Hamburg, and ban the nationwide Shia Muslim organization. That runs it. The Islamic center of Hamburg itch, due to allegations of religious extremism and ties to the terrorist group Hezbollah. The German government says it's a front for Iran. The Interior Ministry says the organization has five subdivisions in 53 locations across Germany. We have footages of the action in full, what the Prime Minister said about this, and we will let you know everything that happened in today's video. So, if you've not already, subscribe to our channel and ring the bell for upcoming updates. Now, pay close attention. It is now certain that the Islamic Center Hamburg acts and is directed against our constitutional order. That is why we are applying one of the sharpest weapons of our law to ban this organization. This is a further consequent step against Islamist extremism. It is very important to me to make a clear distinction. We are not acting against a religion. Germany has shut down one of the country's largest and oldest mosques and ordered a ban on the nationwide Shia Muslim organization that runs it for religious extremism. Dozens of police raided Hamburg's Blue Mosque on Wednesday morning, as well as 53 other properties across Germany, in one of the most significant crackdowns on political Islamism in the country in years. The Interior Ministry said it was formally banning the Islamic Center of Hamburg and its affiliated organizations for preaching totalitarian rule, aggressive anti-Semitism and support for the terror group Hezbollah. Three other mosques in Berlin, Frankfurt and Munich have also been raided and closed. The H propagates an Islamist totalitarian ideology in Germany, said Interior Minister Nancy Faeser. This Islamist ideology is directed against human dignity, against women's rights, against an independent judiciary, and against our democratic state. It is very important to me to make a clear distinction we are not acting against a religion. We clearly differentiate between Islamists against whom we take tough action, and the many Muslims who belong to our country and live their faith. Iran's foreign ministry summoned the German ambassador to Tehran to condemn the hostile action and warned about the consequences of such destructive actions, which they said exemplify a clear case of Islamophobia, according to the official news agency INA. Iran conveyed to Germany that the measure could incite religious and sectarian tensions, the ministry added. The IC, which did not respond to a request for comment, has previously denied accusations of extremism. It was one of the most prominent Shia organizations in Germany and a founding member of the Central Council of Muslims in Germany. But the group has come under mounting scrutiny in recent years with growing calls for it to be shut down as a result of its hardline religious doctrine and links to extremist groups outside Germany. The Blue Mosque itself has been monitored on and off by German domestic intelligence since 1993 and in 2017 was formally designated by security authorities to be an instrument of the Iranian regime. The attack by Hamas on Israel in October last year has prompted a zero-tolerance clampdown by the German government, which has been at pains to assert its support for Israel and Jewish life and Jewish life in Germany and rebuke criticism that it has been idle in tackling domestic religious extremism. Investigations into the Ish began last November when police searched each properties and confiscated evidence. Intelligence agencies and police concluded the organization was extremely conspiratorial and had carefully worked to craft a false image of tolerance while working intensively and steadfastly in secret to promote an Islamic revolution in Germany, the Interior Ministry said. Tensions between security authorities and many German Muslim groups remain high amid a marked uptick in anti-Semitic hate crimes across the country. Anti-Semitic incidents rose 83% in 2023, according to the government's independent commissioner. But Berlin has also come under fire for adopting a heavy-handed approach to policing opinion around the war in Gaza, and sometimes failing to fairly distinguish between legitimate criticism of Israeli government policy and racial hatred. Sabine Doring, Germany's junior minister for higher education, was forced to resign last month after her ministry started exploring legal options to defund the research of German academics who had signed a public letter criticizing a police crackdown on anti-Israeli student protests. 
The shutdown of the Blue Mosque and ban on the Eich represent a significant escalation of the German government's efforts to combat what it sees as religious extremism within the country's Muslim communities. While the government maintains that this is not an attack on Islam or Muslims in general, the move has nonetheless sparked condemnation from Iran and raised concerns about potential sectarian tensions. As the debate over the appropriate balance between security and civil liberties continues, this case will likely have lasting implications for the relationship between the German state and its Muslim citizens. What are your thoughts on this? Should the UK do the same as Germany has done? Share with us in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for upcoming updates.